Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K screen paint using ambient light rejection technology gain. And today, I'm going to show you how to get the best and the most from your projector and how to upgrade your gray or white projection screen. Uh, I'm going to show you a real easy way how to upgrade it. Now, over here, just to show you how high powered the projector we're using, I told you I have so many, two of these babies. Um, this is my Sony VPL FH30. It is a 1920 by 1200 projector, 4300 lumens, and it's WXGA. Uh, if you're curious to see the model number, it's going to be a bit gritty down here because we're downstairs in the basement and it is raining. So I've moved out of the way so you can see the model number of my projector uh, right there. I'm going to have to take it off the camera to show you that, but I'll move it off the camera real quick. It's going to get a bit gritty. All right, so you can see right there, that's the model number of my projector. You can go look it up for yourself when you check out the specification. So, we're going to upgrade this gray and white screen using our technology. We're going to do this on bright colors. We're going to do this on, uh, we're, just, we're not going to do the whole screen. We're just going to just splash right across the side of it, not anything big on it. All right, so, we're going to do this with lights on, lights off. Uh, first things first, uh, it's not too dark in here, but let's take the lights out. So you can see the star field in a, flat, in a pitch black environment. Well, not pitch black, but you know, lights out, lights out. Right. See from there. As you sit in the dark, you can see the image that you're pulling off in my projector in the dark. All right. So let's take our lights back on. Just want to give you an idea where I start. take the Supreme 8, which I have here, my hand's messy, we're going to take this right here, and we're going to coat it right down the side of the screen, not the whole screen, but just the side of the screen, all right, stir this up real good, then we're going to get our roller, right here, we're just going to put a little bit on here, you're not going to see this part, but you'll see that hand shift part of it on. You'll see the other part. This is on the roller. Like so. We're just going to come down one side of the screen. Come to our corner here. And from right down the middle right here. Nothing fancy. We're not even going to paint the whole screen. Just gonna bring a street mark right down the side of the screen. That's all. Put a street mark right down the side of the screen. Need some more paint. Make sure this doesn't fall over. Got the tilt on it. And my roller has a bit of a squeaking effect to it. I'm going to paint the whole screen just a little bit. Round both down all three of the screen paint mixes at the same time. And then our little makeshift paint is not ready down the screen. There we go. Leave it like that. We're just gonna leave it one stripe right down the side of the screen. I think that pretty much shows uh, you don't need to see all of it. Just to give you an idea on how to upgrade your screen. Now, keep in mind, I told you before my projector is 4300 lumen, so we use the big boys in here. I got two of these babies. This is my first Sony, second Sony. I told you about two of them. Beautiful projector. I think uh, we directed a few customers to buy this projector and they're in love with them. They're absolutely in love with them. It's an amazing projector. All right, so we're going to get the fan so we get this to dry. 
We'll grab our fan here. We'll get our rollers and stuff out of the way. We don't have to do the whole screen, just a little strip right down the side of it. Now, this same demonstration we're going to do outside. We're going to do a demonstration outside with that little strip down the side of it. Let me get this to dry real quick. Let me grab my stuff and get it out of the way so it doesn't blow every place. Let my rollers up. Using the Supreme 8 today. We're using today. Where are my tissues? Why? Buy tissues, big roll of tissues, never can find them. Bunch of hundred bucks are upstairs. I need it down here. Never can find my tissues. I buy stuff down here to keep the paint off me all the time and the various stuff that I buy I literally can't find. It's probably upstairs somewhere. It's really not supposed to be at. Oh, so, we'll let it dry right there. We'll do this demonstration again with the lights out. So we just painted a little makeshift just down the side of the screen. Next time I do a demonstration, which I'm gonna have to put a lot of tarp out because I don't wanna get paint everywhere, but you're gonna do a great big huge white screen. I'm just gonna take a bucket of our paint and just splash it all down the side of the screen. Yeah, I'm gonna do that demonstration. It should be fun. So we're just gonna splash it down the side of the screen, an all white screen. And we'll do that demonstration outside. Now I'm gonna paint it in, we're just gonna throw the paint against the side of the screen. Just show you exactly how, how fast this stuff reacts. So now I got the fan, trusty fan, that's the noise you're hearing right there. There's my fan hitting the screen right now, drying it. And we'll pull up, let me see, where's the other phone at? Because I have two phones here. Let me do get a demonstration on. Let me see. No, 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 you're going into the wrong direction. What are you doing? All right. Phone acts a little buggy down here. Now down in the basement, we have 10 times more light. The basement always has more light because I have commercial lighting down here. It's always going to be a little darker due to the fact that it is still wet, so technically it's still drying. I think nothing pushes the demonstration harder than just showing you just a strip, a tad of our paint against a gray screen. Just showing you how much you lose from your projector. And this is when the screen is still wet. Mine, I just painted it about a few minutes ago, so it's still very wet. As they dry, they get much brighter. Uh, yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, I really appreciate that. Right now, I'm in the backyard building a, a, a frame for a 200 inch 235.1. Oh, that's going to be a challenge on its own. 
who it's going to be a challenge on its own because I want to build speakers in the back of it. So that's going to be the next demonstration. I'll be to show up this summer. This, is this massive 235.1 black screen we're building out back. It has a deck connected to it. And there's speakers going to be installed in the deck. There's chairs going to be built into the deck. It's going to be pretty insane. I want to put a fire pit in the middle of it, but I think I kind of, might kind of be kind of pushing it. But I'll see what I can get away with. Uh, that's an 8. That's a Supreme 8. If you rewind the video, um, you'll see that it's a Supreme 8 that I'm using. And I just take the paint roll and I just run it right down the side of the screen. So this is what we're using now. I'll show you. There we go. There's our 8 right there. I just coated the side of the screen with it. We on top of that, we got a ton of ambient light in here. This is lighting in my environment. I have commercial lighting in the basement. The basement is extremely bright. But we're gonna do this demonstration again outside also too. And my projector I'm using right now is a Sony VPL FH30 at 4300 lumens. So it has plenty of power for both screens. And you see the white levels on the black technology? So um, we'll come back in later on. I got I have to get to the um, post office real quick. I got a lot of packages I have to ship off. Um, so for those of you who actually placed the orders uh, for the one gallon kits, um, let me take the camera upstairs. We're gonna come back. We're gonna be doing more demonstrations on this. Keep in mind I got to do demonstrations with the lights out too. Also too. So um, we're gonna be doing some once this. Well, actually it's cloudy out here right now. But once we get nighttime out here, this area is completely dark. So. We'll do some movie demonstrations, gaming demonstrations, whatever you want, we'll show it. But just want to show you like how fast the improvement that you get from the technology. So you're not losing any white levels at all whatsoever when it comes to the black screens. But like I said, that, the best way I could show you in that demonstration was just take a roller and just go down the side. I did that live, so if you rewind the video, you'll get a chance to see that. So back upstairs to the honeycomb hideout who remembers that back in the day that's a nine right there that nine sitting on the wall this right here my people danger zone this is my wife's couponing right here you touch this you die i wouldn't be alive let me switch so i got a contract over here i'm gonna put this over here that can't be seen i mean a dust of wind come through and just move one of these and you'll never see me again a lot of you not all right so these are one gallon kits. This is what's going out today. Uh, we dropped about uh, 14 of these. I can't show you the whole box because there's personal information on it. That's why I gotta keep the camera down low. We got another 14 upstairs in the gaming room. That I gotta bring down here. I work as I go along. So sometimes I'm gaming, I'm packing up boxes around the house. 
So we got another 14 to go. But those of you who, like I said, you have tracking numbers, you're waiting. Your tracking numbers will be activating today and tomorrow. Keep in mind, we're having that one gallon kit. So that will allow you to have a 180 inch screen with a six by nine blackout cloth surface. That's big enough to build a gigantic screen. Uh, this summer, if, like I said, we're working on a few things. We want to be out, so a few things we want to talk about that contract. Um, I want to be distributor, I want to manufacture, but I still want to deal with customers. I love dealing with customers, I do. And we're going to actually start designing gaming screens. Now, gaming screens is something that's not within our contract, and this will allow us to be able to build and design something differently and probably set up a whole new website wrapped around these gaming screens that we're actually working on. Yeah, yours is on its way. Yours is on its way. Um, because I said we're shipping out yours, you'll get a tracking number from us. Uh, if you're overseas, your tracking number chances are will come up under FedEx. Um, because the FedEx time is a little faster, so that's why we use FedEx overseas. Um, but you're, you're, you're act if you have a tracking number, it should be activating either soon or already activated already. Because I just processed a whole lot of orders to pay just a few minutes ago, so um, one or the other. But uh, yeah, we'll be out, we'll be dropping off packages today and tomorrow. And getting that done but that one gallon kit keep in mind like i said he has the ability to break that kit up i mean you can put two screens in the house or you can paint two screens on the wall side by side which is pretty cool we can put a screen outside in the backyard because the paint is weatherproof so you can take it outside as a matter of fact like i said i'm going to be building with the supreme eight i'm building a 200 inch 235.1 i didn't realize i could get a screen that big until i was looking at the 180 and i was looking at the size of the deck i was like you know what i'm gonna put a 235 out here but it's going to have to be a short throw because I need, I can't have that much room back. I don't have that much room back. And on top of it, I got a tree sitting in the way of where the 235 expands. Actually, I'm actually ordering a monster. And I mean a monster. I got my eyes on an Optima 4K laser projector at 7,000 lumens. It's about an eight thousand dollar projector. That's what I have my eye on. That's well, I never had any. I never had eight thousand. I never had a high end projector, and I have an opportunity uh, this summer to get a really high end projector. There's some other ones I'm going to get. I do want a 4K BenQ. There's five 4K projectors I want. I am going to get okay the GT Ultima GT 1080. I had that one. I actually had that projector here. Sad man, it was a good, it's an amazing freaking projector, amazing freaking projector, man. And the merchant who I bought it from, when I went, there, I run projectors usually, and I buy them, they run for a while and it burnt out. Ultima 4K laser, yeah, Ultima 4K laser projector, yes. I'm gonna try to see. I can't get all lasers because keep in mind I got little ones, and we're gonna be putting these out in the backyard. You ever walk in front of a laser projector before? It's not a pretty thing. It is not a pretty thing. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've walked in front of a laser projector. I walked in front of my Casio projector where it was off, and it was in standby mode, and I still got lit by that thing. Oh, wait, wait, let's go upstairs, because my wife's going to be getting ready pretty soon, and I'm going to be locked away in my area, because she's going to be roaming the house, and I don't feel like getting murdered. All right, so she's not a bad person. Don't get me wrong, she's not a bad person, but... It's the same thing I say about my mom. You know what I mean? My mom, people ask me why I have such a crazy sense of humor, and I say my mother drank when she had me. My mother doesn't drink, she's a Christian. So stop telling people stuff like this. And people believe in them. I'm an alcoholic. Let's take her hand upstairs. The gaming room I'm still working on. I came up I came up short on two strips of light. So I'm short 32 feet of light. Um, now I want to do the ceiling. So I want to put chasers on the ceiling. And chasers are the ones that do that kind of Pac-Man display. I want to put that up on the ceiling. So I want to light, I'm gonna let light the entire room, <laughs> literally from my window. I gotta go outside the house and show you the video, what my, my room looks like. It looks like a discotheque. Neighbors gonna think I'm having a rave up there. Like, doom, 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 doom. All right. So let's go in this room, see if it's clean. I had to do some organ, I had some, to do some, uh, some cleaning up in the room. I had to straighten up my, my top area right there because I had boxes and boxes, boxes and boxes and boxes that are over cluttering. And I had to clear enough room so when I put the lead lights up, so I'm gonna put more. Put them there, along the corners in here, right along the corner, put lead lights up in there. I think it's gonna be cool. I already have them here. So I have them, and I found this the other day. So see that bright lead light down there? I found that in my, in my box downstairs. I have a box to keep all my junk in. 
and this is very bright because I wanted this to actually give off more light and I wasn't getting enough light lead light from these strips so I found that high power lead light downstairs in the box and I hooked that up last night to wire that in so now it's giving me enough light to push off of here and I can change the colors of that but I've got it running everywhere yeah it's 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 a, it's a nice little room it's it's small you know what I mean but you know it's 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 my little comfort zone right here where I need to unwind and unstress it's down you know my little comfort zone in here but I plan to get a much bigger one we're actually in the works of next year maybe next year I'm looking at getting a much much bigger house this one I'm actually gonna buy I'm gonna buy this house this one over here I'm renting but I'm actually going to be buying one and I want a massive, massive gaming room so I can get some of my stuff out of storage because I have a lot of my toys in storage. A lot of people don't realize that I collect vintage toys. Oh, shoot, I should show you the attic. So, I'm going to sneak past real quick. Just so careful. So this is some of my stuff right here I'm taking upstairs. Freaking attic. Let's go upstairs to the attic up here. Man, if you fall down these stairs, you buy it. You will see God if you fall down these stairs. You know what this is? This is an Xbox surfboard. Xbox Xbox had the original surfboard. Actually, nah. Um, I rented a few of those houses. I was renting them. Um, because my credit wasn't good. I was working on my credit. And trying to establish to get a house. So what happened was, we were supposed to to be buying a house we're actually supposed to be buying a house but the last house i had to get out of because the last house nearly killed me and you want to know how it almost killed me i ended up with a a uh, damage to my lungs because in the last house i was in there was considerably a lot of mold and behind the drywall so the idiot who basically did the drywall in the basement didn't put up the purple drywall purple drywall is used to actually collect moisture and he didn't insulate the cobblestones in between the drywall and i was sitting in a mold infested environment didn't know it and i breathed all this in for one year and it caused a significant amount of damage to my lungs now i didn't end up with cancer i had a biopsy done funny on halloween of all times to have a biopsy done and they didn't find any cancer they didn't find any my lungs were strong enough they didn't collapse didn't need any surgery or anything like that, but it put me on 40 milligrams of prednisone every day, and I have to use this little bad boy. I have to use this. So I went from somebody who trained in martial arts just about every day, did sports, to a person who basically can't lift weights or can't do this, can't do anything at all because I have to wait for my lungs to heal. But good thing about it, God willing. My lungs are healing bit by bit by bit. I should be back to normal in about a year or two. That's how bad the damage was. So, yes, we are suing them. Oh, the attic? Attic freaks me out, man. I'm going to tell you right now. Attic freaks me out. I'm going to tell you right now. When I first moved here, I never had an attic in a house before. When I first moved here, the attic, I would leave the door always locked in the attic. Like, I would always put, like, a piece of tape over the door. Because, you know, the attic is where crap pops off, man. Every freaking haunted movie starts in the basement or the attic. One or the other, one of these places are getting it. And when I would, we would come in, right, because our, drive, our driveway is right down there. So we come into the driveway, I would never look up at the attic in fear that I would see a shadow cast across. So when we first moved here, right, I first came up the stairs... There was a chair, an old-fashioned chair sitting right there pointed out the window. Oh, man, that freaked me the heck out. I didn't want to move the chair because I didn't want to disturb what was up here, but it was freaking me out, man. It was freaking me out. Oh, my goodness, man, it was freaking me out. And literally, I would not come up here at night. I lie to you not, man. I would not come up here at night. Like, right now, I still don't come up here at nighttime. Dude, I'm turning this into my gaming room. So I'm kind of like, you know, I'm kind of freaking out a little bit. You know what I mean? I might be playing the game and some shadow might pop in front of the screen. And look, man, these are the kind of windows that people get thrown out of, from, you know, weird stuff. You know what I mean? But I'm a Christian, so I don't worry about I'm trying to say that I'm a, I'm a Christian. I don't have to worry about that kind of stuff. But still, it's the attic, man. And then look, I got these little tiny doors. What the freak is that? Okay, I know they lead to other stuff, but I'm not opening it up, man. I think it's going to have like, I'm taking the, I can't take the door off, but I've got to put some sheet metal up there and just seal that off. Because look at these freaky little doors, man. These are the kind of doors that little things come out of, you know what I mean? When, you know, when the light, when lights go out and crack a lightning in the background and you're missing a Ginsu knife, that's where these little things come from. 
Oh, heck no. I mean, you call me a coward, but heck no. So look at this. So this area right here, I call this decapitation zone. You know why? Because if you're taller than 4'11", you're getting your head cut off in here. So bottom line, it's my friend. She is 4'11". She can walk right in here without even hitting the ceiling. Look at this thing, man. If I stand up, I'll take my head off in here. This little tiny room in here. So the reason why... I'm gonna we're gonna be putting up most of the stuff in here in this little area right here. We get birds up here once in a while. Birds will come up here and uh, get stuck up here. I don't know where they're coming from, but they get stuck. But they put outlets up here. There's tons of outlets up here. Tons of them. Look at this. Let me show you some of the stuff I collected. Look at it. Masters of the Universe on tape. You know how old that is? The master. It's still in mint condition in the seal. Yeah, we get birds up here from time to time. We got Barbie. On tape. This is a matchbox uh, model set. Old, old model set. Look at the plane on it. This is some of the stuff. You remember these toys back in the day? I don't know if you guys remember these. These are, I had one of these when I was a kid. Let me show you something really old. Oh, yeah. I had the board game for uh, Primal Rage. Oh, man. Milton Brady's Testigo. Wrap right, up. I'm saying that right or not. It's still wrapped up. Donkey Kong, the board game. Family Ties. Some of the older stuff I have. Let me show you some really weird, crazy stuff. I have an original Super Soaker. I actually own two of these. Original Super Soaker, still in the box. Oh yeah, man, retro. This was another um, Super Soaker that came out. A lot of people know about this. Made by the exact same company. Very, very old, man. It's some of the old stuff that I own, man. I'm here my closet area back here. Here's another one right here. That's another Super Soaker right there. Brand in the box. Never open. I got this at a flea market for like around three dollars. Person didn't even know what they had. And I was like, I'll just take both of them. You're not going to need that. This Transformers. We have Transformers over here. This is a Transformer Command Center. Yeah, Muppets. Only oh, Muppets, brand new in the box. Muppets. That's a Transformer Command Center. Brand in the box. Never opened it. This is a Muppet toy. Really old. Right there. They don't make those anymore. Just some of the old stuff. Oh, old Fisher Price baby toys. If you guys remember that when you were a kid, and you had the old Fisher Price baby toys. I had one of these when I was a little toddler. Well, of course, I don't remember that because I'm going to have an excellent memory to do that one. Uh, anybody play poker? So, yeah. And these are all her stuffed toys. Tons and tons and tons of stuffed toys. What is in all this stuff, man? Oh, my goodness. Hold on for a minute. I forgot I had one of these things. Let's get that out of the way. You don't need to see all that trash. I even had this. Hold on, I gotta show you this. These are old stuff, man. I have a warehouse full of old toys. So, I've been collecting since I was 13. I'm 51 right now. So, you know, I gotta do something with some of this stuff. Oh my goodness, man. This is a Western Bell. All right, check this out. This right here. I don't know if any of you guys who are old enough to remember this. When I was a kid, this was called Hot Shot. Was it Hot Shot? It was Hot Shot Basketball. Yeah, when I was a kid, man. Hot Shot Basketball. I remember this commercial when I was a kid. This is really, 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 really old. Yes, I collected just about anything I get my hands on. Literally just about anything. Yes, Barney. I have Batman, too. Care Bears. I actually own a collection of Care Bears. They go miniature toys. They are popular at one point. Remember the Dunkin' Yo-Yos? These came out in 1970. Still mint condition. Still sealed up. So what else we have in here? Oh, yeah. Check this out. This is Frogger the board game. Frogger had their own board game. Never opened it up. Still in the box. Frogger's a good thing. I gotta do something with some of this stuff. You know what I mean? Because 
like I said, you know, I'm gonna die one day and not gonna take any of this stuff with me. Duncan, yes, yo yo, I had owned, owned a couple of those. Those are really thank you. Somebody knows what those are. Duncan's are really old. These are the Care Bears. Look how old, look how brown the um, which one come? I found a fellow who had. You know where you find this stuff at? I'm gonna tell you how you find this stuff. The mom and pop stores where the Asians own those, they never get rid of their inventory. Everybody else gets rid of the inventory, but if you find an Asian mom and pop store, a lot of you not, they never get rid of the inventory. Not even the recalls. They keep everything. And I just happened to be going to class one day, and I decided I was selling on eBay, and I decided to bump and jump into the store, see what they had. And oh my goodness, this guy had a massive collection of so much stuff. It wasn't even funny. Like it was like basically walking through a time machine. So I pulled ten grand out of my account and I bought everything he had. Bought everything he freaking had. The rest of the stuff ended up in storage, and some of the stuff I still had ended up here. Anybody remember laser blasters? Do, do, do. Running around the house shooting each other these bad boys. Do, do, do. These are old joints from back in the day. Oh, look at the box. How old the box is? These came out. Um, let's see what year these came out. These are pretty old. Let me see. Wow, when they were using nine volt batteries. Huh. Here we go. Uh, around in 1987. That's when these came out. I'm going to play with these. I'm going to have a ball. I'm going to play with these one day. I never, I haven't opened any of these up. Look at this. These are the old tassels for Sesame Street for the bikes back in the day. When you had the tassels hanging off your bike. I even have old quad skates from back from the 70s. Mint condition, in the box, never open. Remember this puzzle set when you were a kid? Brisket blocks. Brings back a lot of memories. I had these when I was a kid too. It's another thing to collect marble items, but when you collect things from the past that literally have never been opened, never been touched, you know, this is something else for collectible. Now you remember these, these, some of you remember these came out in the 1920s, 1930s. These were old fashioned bug sprayers made by a company called Lucky. And you based on Tom and Jerry, you ever seen them when they're trying to kill a bug and they go, shh, 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 shh. this is where these keys come from. This is mint condition. What I mean by mint, they were never ever used. I bought them brand new. Brand new. I found them in a store. Some guy was, he wasn't even selling them. He just had them there and I offered him 20 bucks for them. And he gave, I got four of them. Bought four of them. I had them on Etsy just for display. Yeah, but the thing about it is I'll, I'll never get rid of it. You know what I mean? I'll never get rid of some of this stuff. It's just stuff laying around. I just, I'll never get rid of it. Oh, Lego sets. Before Legos were Legos. This is what they were called. Oh, my goodness. Fisher Price uh, um, Jet. This is a Fisher Price, um, you know what I'm talking about, a kid's uh, model jet. This one I did play with. I did play with that right there. I, was, I actually had this set up. I was playing around with this. I had this set. Look at that. I was playing with that. Look at this track from back in the day. I do have Tycos. I have Tycos and all that other good stuff. Oh, oh my goodness, check this out. Tom and Jerry shaving set for kids. Real deal. Uh, this one was manufactured on a one. You too, you too, you take care, you take care. You take care. You have a good one, my friend. You have a good one. There it is. There's a lucky sprayer. These are really rare. Extremely rare with that logo on it. But I haven't done anything with them. Oh my goodness. All right, all right. Really quick. I'm going to get out of here real quick. These are actually episodes. So this is a flip cider. Flip ciders where when I was a kid, this was like a consent tape. You pop it open. It was a board game right here. Dungeon Master. They had a whole bunch of them. All these were when I was kids. I'll show you something really old. See this remote control car? I should just better care of the box, but this is a remote control car, a Firebird, and the battery is the actual remote control. I should put that there. I take better care of my stuff. Another Duncan Yo Yo. Still in mint condition in the box. And more Care Bears. 
So I got another box, I got another bunches of these. Wow, Barney napkins. Yeah, all right, no problem. Um, yeah, um, you make your order on Friday. Uh, don't forget to add in your cell phone number if you're actually or contact number if you're going to be ordering overseas because that way we can ship it to you by FedEx. Oh my goodness, there's my Apache. Oh, sorry about that. My Apache helicopter. I forgot about this bad boy. This is an Apache helicopter. This is an old, old remote control helicopter, man. This is one of the helicopters you didn't have to pay a lot of money. Now, the RC helicopters they make back in the actually made back in the day had lights that flashed on them and the um, cockpit lit up and everything. Oh, these things were freaking amazing. I found one of these, man. Things actually still works. Only problem is, I don't even know what I did with the remote control. Oh, well, that's another story for another day. So I gotta get all this cleaned up. These are my old controllers too. Look at this. Oh, I still have this game. This is the game right here. I have this game downstairs. Anybody remember playing? Uh, oh my God, what's this game connected to? Somebody already knows what this is. That game, the shooter game. Ah, oh, can't think of the name up for it. It's for PS2. I can't think of the name for it. It'll pop in my head later on. This is the gun for Dreamcast for House of the Dead. I do remember it. Oh my goodness! Look, it's my original. This is my original Dreamcast. The original, I bought this when it first came out. Time Cop, yes. No, 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 no. Was it Time Cop? It was Time Cop, it was Time Cop. Saturn had one too. That's the original Dreamcast. I still have all my old games on here from way back in the day. Oh. Whew. I gotta clean this mess up too because she's gonna come up here and go, what the freak you been doing up here? I'm like, what I'm doing? I'm just talking to my, to my, my people, that's what I'm doing. Time cop. Oh my goodness. Ah, see, just smacked my head coming in. Every freaking time. This doohickey always smacked my head on. Time cop. Oh my goodness. I remember doing time cop side by side. No, no, no. It wasn't time cop. It was it time cop or time crisis? Oh, I'll figure it out. But the one you used to step on the pedal, reload, 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 reload. Oh my goodness. And the arcade, man, that was the bomb. That was the, that was the bomb in the arcade. They don't, uh, they don't make this anymore. Oh my goodness. Time crisis. Yeah, time crisis. Time crisis. Anybody remember growing up with one of these when you were a kid? You know what these are? These are the push tops. This is egg and chicken by Ohio Arts. This was this is an, oh this is, these were made, made out of metal. And you would hit the top of the chicken, it would spin. These are really old. It's mint condition. I forgot I even had half of this stuff in here. All right, you might laugh at me when you see this, but don't judge me, okay? I collect just about everything. Xena. <laughs> I told you I collect about everything. I did. Okay, now this is not Xena. This is her sidekick right here, right? That's her sidekick right there. Original from the TV show. Remember the TV show from back in the day? X Xena, where I got that wrong. I said Xena, didn't I? I'm sorry. And I got her too. Boom, I got her too. Yep, there you go. Got them both. I just happened to walk into a flea market and they had both of them there. I was like, I'll take them. Yes. Well, one of my old robots from back in the day. Hmm. My old robots. I don't think I have anything else down here. In the box or bag or anything like that. I have to dig through all this stuff. I gotta sort my stuff out. I haven't had any time to sort anything out back here. Old posters, stuff like that. I gotta organize this entire area down here. I guess I'll do it tomorrow. I'll get all this organized. See, look at this, look at this. Easy to get your head cut off in here. Look at this. If I turn this way, I smack my head here. The only part I had that basically to keep me from killing myself is this. This is the only thing that freaks me out in this house. This is one window right here. You know why? Because if I trip anywhere in this environment and I go out here, I'm going right out this window. I'm about to put something there, like a gate, childproof it for myself. But look at these, man. This is freaky. That little tiny door there, man. What the freak you think might be in there? I'm not going to go in there and find out. It'd be my own personal Blair Witch project. Man, this is freaky. Like, why do you have two doors there? I mean, there's nothing. When, I, when we talk to the landlord, there's literally nothing in there. Like, what are they, storage? And why would you need storage? Why are they so small? I mean, judging by 
Well, I guess this would be the house comes down on a slant, so it might be a little storage area there. But from here to here, from there to there, there, that's enough room for a little elf to live in there, or troll, or whatever the freak might be in there. Yeah, I don't hit one time, I literally not. I was downstairs in a, in a gaming room downstairs, and I heard this <laughs> upstairs, and it was, oh my goodness, thinking, all right, something got out of that little room. And it's running around upstairs. So I went and grabbed something that usually most people have in their house, but I'm not going to tell you what it is to take care of the situation. And as I'm coming upstairs, it's a bird flying around upstairs. So I don't mention certain things that I have. Yeah, so this is my stuff I'm taking upstairs right now. Uh, the PS4 and the boxes for the gears and my snowboard for my Xbox right there. That's all this stuff is going upstairs. Man, whew, I never even knew there was an attic up there. Make sure it's locked. Gotta hear that click. Make sure whatever's up there. I'm gonna try to get downstairs. That area freaks me out. Like for the long, when he first moved for the longest time, I stayed far away from the attic. I wouldn't even go up there at all, period. Mm -mm, nope, no, 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 no. Cause like I said, that's where stuff sparks off. The basement and the attic, especially the attic. And for some reason, they had this weird looking vintage chair and it was pointed out the window. So I'm like, that is the freakiest thing ever. Like, why would the chair of all places just be sitting in that one spot, just gazing out the window? Now, nah, we're going to give it the time of day. We're going to try it. At nighttime, I stayed away from the attic. Shame when you're afraid of the house you actually live in. Literally, you're terrified of it. So that's why at nighttime I always have something. You always see me when, you, when, I, when I do videos, there's always a TV playing in the background. I always make sure there's noise always playing in the house so I don't hear something I don't want to hear and you shouldn't hear. Yeah, it freaks me out, man. I think we got the Xbox. Do we have the Xbox One hooked up to this? We should. No, oh, pretty goodness. I feel like I need a longer freaking um, um, HDMI cable. I got to order that from Amazon today. All right, so uh, just to let you know, we extended that shopping cart uh, for the one gallon. It was supposed to be over on Friday, but we're extending it all the way for two more weeks, and we just dropped 200 more kits in that shopping cart. So you do have a chance to get it uh, while it's on the website for $189. It does come with free shipping, and it does come with a gallon of the Supreme 8, which I have here painted on my wall in my gaming room. I freaking love this screen so much. So let's turn the lights out because we got all LED lights in here now. So we got all my LED lights are running. Um, let's see. All these are running. All those are running. Those are definitely on. That's why I need, I need more LED lights. I need more LED lights. I need some in the corners up there. I want some in the corners up there. But I want the chasers, the ones that run and chase each other and they stack up in the corner and they go all the way around. I want those. But Amazon used to sell them, but they don't sell them anymore. They stopped selling the chasers. Those things were so freaking cool because you can program them to do all kinds of cool stuff. And I upgraded my keyboard. Yes, I got rid of that grimy, nasty keyboard. I had that keyboard for years, but I got rid of it. And also, too, added something in, too. Let me see if I can find a remote control for it. Oh, here it is. Um, the ceiling is now... Oh, yes, you can it. I'm going to add a little effect to the ceiling. So I'm going to get four more of those, and I'm going to connect those in different areas um, in each corner so I can get the entire ceiling to look like it's actually made out of water. Um, let me see. Soundboards are on. So this is the new add-on added for the desk. I got rid of the keyboard. I got rid of my uh, old headsets, and I got some new stuff to play with. Got a new keyboard, and I got the new headsets right there, everything to blend in. It's all freaking cool. And the next thing I'm going to do is actually going to upgrade my sound system in here. So I'm going over to Best Buy to buy myself a new um, new sound bar. This sound bar is my work sound bar, so it's literally covered in paint. So I'm going to get another one. Let me see. So we've got a little time to kill. It's 9.15. we got some time to kill. There. Let me see. We're going to pay today. The control is running. I should be good. Oh, one percent. Okay, let's get the charger out for that one. 
Now, if you wonder why I have my air conditioner running, because I'm running two uh, projectors in here. And two projectors, one projector will heat your room up extremely fast. So I have two projectors running, uh, two, I have two projectors running, and the room can heat up pretty quick. So that's why I have, why would I set my, on my, or that's a dummy tank I've ever did. It needs to be free. Sorry about that. I have my cord for some reason sitting right on top. Xbox One is sitting right on top of my cord. I don't know why I got it like that, but it should be. And I got to do some serious wire management at the bottom of my desk because it looks like an op two octopuses having fights down there. Everything is everywhere. All right, so I'm going to be downloading some new games. If you want to see what the um, store looks like on these things, so, uh, if you want to check out what the... Uh, Actually, I should be looking around the store because I need to buy some new stuff. Now, keep in mind, my projector I'm using is a 720p projector. That's it. The 720p projector, I bought it over a short throw. It's an NEC uh, DLP projector, and I bought it at eBay for $139. Mortal Kombat is happening. They're having a sale, so I gotta hit the sales. Let me show you how beautiful the colors pop on the screen. The black screens are amazing. With the white levels. And I said you're not gonna miss anything when it comes to white levels. Screen produces very good white levels. But I see some games I want. I'm gonna definitely be picking up today. Ooh. What the heck is this? Add-ons. Do we got any add-ons for anything I need add-ons for? Yeah, I got to do some shopping today. Okay. All right. Good gracious, Dragon Ball is still freaking $59. That game has got to be insanely good. That game is old, it's still freaking $59. It's got to be amazing, I don't have to get it. The game has been $59 for the longest time. Call of Duty was known for doing that. Having games, they've been out for a while and they were still like $59 or $49. Good gracious, man. Can I watch a trailer of this? Oh, we already seen the trailer a million times. No, I'm not buying this right now. Soundbar should be. I got. Like I said, I'm working on it. Hold on. Can't have it too loud, people. I'm not trying to get murdered today. See the color pop on a black screen is insane. It is, man. You have no idea. Gaming on black screens is freaking amazing. Oh my goodness. I'm definitely gonna be buying this today. $59 or what? I'm getting it. That is that's gonna look amazing on this screen. Upgrade kit. It's this right here. But like I said, we everybody knows when you game, contrast is everything. You have to have contrast when you game. Come out of here real quick. I am going to do. Let me see. I think I'm still in the death match. And um, what's my call? Still in the death match mode. I'm going to do what's my call real quick. I like the driving game. This game is pretty cool. But I'm going to do the. Um, 
I'm gonna do the, um, I wanna do some shooting. I definitely wanna do some shooting. I love shooting. Hopefully they still got me in that death match. Cause like I said, it's an area I'm actually going and I'm collecting legendary weapons. There's like two legendary weapons I don't own yet. One's that, I don't own, there's actually um, a bazooka. One of the legendaries, and I haven't found it yet. I know it's in that little area right there. I hope they put me back in the same place. Just see it in 3D. Freaking claptrap drives me nuts. Though I would like to have a remote control claptrap. I think that would be freaking cool. I don't know why they didn't make that. I think they should have did that in Borderlands 3. Maybe in Borderlands 4. They should make a remote control claptrap. Oh man, I would pay so much for that right now. Like it had to be the size of that, um, what was that? That, uh, that robot? Actually, the Yoda. If it's the same size as the Yoda, the Yoda that actually moves around, the one they have with the lightsaber, oh man, I would still buy that kit. I don't care what it would cost. A two foot claptrap with just randomly just saying crazy stuff all day long, that would be insane. I would love to have that. Yeah, you see the screen adjusts. That's that ambient light rejection. It adjusts the light. So that's one thing I like about it. Because keep in mind, like I said, this is my workspace and my freaking off my game room at the same time. And the only reason why I chose her because she had a freaking mech. I love mechs. Okay. Let's continue. Hopefully, they got me over in my section. Yes, yes, they brought me back to the freaking, yes, this is where I was doing the, what's my problem, the freaking, um, the freaking, uh, the, for the legendary weapons, and they freaking upped it to Mayhem, I mean, made some Mayhem 3 now, so, I should be getting some really cool stuff, but man, I get killed in here, I get murdered in here quick. First, Mayhem 1 was actually okay, but now Mayhem 3 is freaking berserk. Slaughter shaft. Because you're getting the shaft in there, you're definitely getting the shaft, there's too much crap going on in this one spot. I think today I'm gonna make myself some gingerbread. I'm gonna make some gingerbread today. Alright, let's see. Yeah, so we're definitely gonna design our own form of dedicated gaming screens. I mean, I love them. Come on, I'm a gamer. I mean, I gotta design my own gaming screen. But I wanna make these so that everybody can afford them. Because, man, I mean, even down to the casual gamer, everybody should be able to have the same hardware. Don't you think? All right, buddy. Do I got to talk to you? Yes, I do. Get me into this freaking slaughterhouse. Gotta keep this on. Okay, slaughterhouse. All right, so. Let's see if I got plenty of ammo. Did I get plenty of ammo on me? Yeah. Uh -huh. I should be good. So let's go in here and let's get this on. So right there is the whole arena where you go to fight at. And right there is your little switch to start the game. This little spot right here. I'm just trying to keep my distance because the majority of these guys in here are freaking nuisance. Start right over there in that section. And the loading time, come on, man. And be careful what's not behind me and what's not in back of me.
burnt your bacon. Oh man. Ah, all right, I got you. Well, there, there we go, second light. Freaking ammo, I need this gun too. Yeah, thank you. Just in case. There's somebody right there. And I think she just dropped some struck gold. Eh, nothing. Bye, first one to die. around this one. Oh crap, man, the weapons on that one. Alright. 
Wrong. Damn, you see my arm out. My freaking I'm health dropped that fast? Damn! Really? Oh, shoot. I need my armor to go up. There we go. The armor's gonna go faster. Molly. Whoa, 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 whoa. Extinction, baby. Extinction. Drop gold, he just drop gold. Okay. It's a safe point. Cause then that wall was there. Where you come at? It's somewhere far away. Damn, trap my energy down to nothing. I got you. Second one, baby. Load it. Come on, damn it. Are you freaking kidding me? Wow. That is messed up. That is really messed up. Well, I'm not starting this again. Man, got me on Mayhem 3 on this freaking nut job. Let me see if I got any, um, if I get a, um, I saw a legendary drop somewhere. I'm gonna see if I got the legendary. Just let me go through and try to collect it. Something dropped over here. Something did drop. There was a legendary right there. This I don't own. Oh man, that thing is nice too. Shoot, I gotta trade something out for that one. What do we have in our category we're not using? This gun's pretty powerful. Alright, I gotta swap something out for this. All these are legendary weapons I have in here. I'm just gotta figure out which ones I don't want. Sniper rifle. I don't use sniper rifles. I'll get rid of that one. I gotta have this right here. That's my, that's my legendary sniper rifle. But I don't use it. I never use sniper rifles in the game. Let's see what we got here. If we swap this baby out. For uh, this one. This one with a long blade on it, this one with a long blade on it. Let's see what this one does. Yeah, uh, no, uh, it's okay, but I like all going better.
That's this one. Oh shoot. I think we found a winner. I like this one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Let's get a chance to test that one out. Need some more ammo for this one. I like that one. See what kind of damage it can cause. Oh yeah, I forgot. I don't need to get all this. I need to go over here and get some more weapons. I'm gonna pop over here. Where's that vending machine at? Vending machine, vending machine, vending machine. There we go. I'm gonna test this weapon out. Okay, found me where? Oh! Oh, got me down already. Come on, the weapon. On the weapon! There we go. Damn, really? Seriously, all that to take? Seriously? Get my machine. My machine, damn it. My machine today. Today with the freaking machine. Oh, what the freak? Seriously? You're saying it's not enough room to run this thing at? Come on. Machine, come on. Oh, you freaking kidding me. This is what I was trying to get into. For some reason, we're not even allowed to get that machine out. My mech. Probably just stayed alive there. There's a legendary weapon just dropped over there. There's a legendary weapon just dropped right there. Get these staircase real quick. Come on, darn it. Come down quick. Oh, for God's sake, I'm bringing them over here. I think somebody just dropped the legendary. No, I think they're on. I'll take that. Yeah, we dropped some legendary through that right there. There's one right there. Oh, it's a shotgun. Don't got that. You see how the ghost stars right there? It's all legendary weapons that just dropped all over the board. Nice. I got this section real quick. Damn it, they got me. I'll get my second wind off you. Oh, really? This has got to be in this section over here? Oh, that's gonna take me down. I got him. Get my second win. There we go. Damn, what the freak? All right, all right, all right. I get my second win again. There we go. Too many in that one section. Good gracious. Here we 
gal. Let's get this sucker done. I'm going through the extension, buddy. Go on. The freak out of the the rest of them. There we go. Don't run, don't run, don't run now. Don't run, don't run, don't run. Take it like a freaking mutant. Okay, barbecue you behind. Alright, gotta get out of here. Oh, where the freak am I at? Oh, I'm in the wrong section. Kind of lost here. Alright, okay, I know where I'm at. I got kind of lost. Damn it, down. How many bars this sucker got on him? Too many bars to take him down. I need somebody to less bars. There we go. Don't fight him, get the freak out of the path. Come on, man. Come on, man. Seriously? There's so much going on in this one section. I'm gonna get murdered on these steps. So he's eating through my freaking arm. Oh, what the heck? I gotta get to the back of this. Get my uh, which one to reload up a little better. Shoot. Okay, good, I maxed out. I'm gonna come home. Oh man. Oh, I'm out of ammo too? What's the other weapon I got? Oh! Yeah, I'm gonna die. I'm definitely gonna die. I don't have enough to take this thing down. I'm definitely dead. I'm going. There's, I don't have enough firepower to take that one down. He has three bars on him. I try to find ones that have less bars. If less bars means that gives me a second win. Some of them got three bars. Forget it. You're not gonna be able to kill fast as you're dying. That's not gonna happen. I'm just gonna get that shotgun. There's a shotgun legendary weapon out there. I'm grabbing that baby. So let me... I'm ammo, and let me go out there and get what I got out there. Just dropped. There's a whole bunch of um, legendary weapons that just dropped in that one pile. And I just so good thing about the game is if you die, you can always go back and collect your stuff. So there's one right there. All right, and then there's another one. I saw another one over here. Ooh, what is the freak is that? Is that better than what I got? Is that better? No, my actually is more powerful than that one. Alright, um... Let's see. We got a bunch of them. Two drops here. And there's one up top. There's one up top that dropped. So let's go take a look at the top and see what we got going on. There's one right here. This is the shotgun. Actually, the shotgun is more powerful than this one. Oh, we gotta swap this out. Heck yeah, I'm definitely taking this one. Mm, I do like the girl. I don't want to get rid of that gun. That's a good gun. No, no, no. Hey, wait a minute, hold on for a minute. I'm freeze a little bit here, alright. I mean, it's actually higher. Alright. I just want to use that gun. That gun is actually pretty nice. Uh, I'm going to drop this one. I don't need that. I'm gonna go back and get that other one because this one was actually much better weapon. I'm gonna keep that one. This one right here. It's okay. I actually had to kill this boss to get that one, so that's why I wouldn't hold on to that one. But it's not a good weapon. It's, it, it's actually took out. I got weapons that are more powerful than that, so I don't need it. All right. I am going to. Oh yeah. So you had the lights on, but. This show you how the screen drives with the lights on. 
and lights off. Of course, we still have light coming in, so it's, you know, it's still well lit in our environment. It's not bad for a 720p projector when you look at it. It's a 720p projector on black technology. So if you want to know the model number before I leave out of here of my, uh, of my projector, I'll show you. So there you are. That's my 720p projector I'm using. It is a uh, DLP uh, M352WS. I paid about $139 for this projector right here. It's 3,500 lumens with a 10,000 to 1 contrast on it. Um, I'll be back on later on because I got to get ready to get dressed and get out the door. I got packages to get out the door for you guys. And I got packages. I got orders to process for today. Uh, we're going to do some more demonstrations on that screen downstairs with the paint splatter across, the paint across of it. We're going to do some brighter light colors with it. But right now, let me get these orders out of the way first. And let me get washed and cleaned up because I got to get much done today. Um, and keep in mind that uh, we are still taking orders, like I said, for the... Um, for the uh for that special promotion deal that's going on on our website and that is a gallon of our supreme eight ambient light projection screen paint uh that comes with a six by nine a massive six by nine blackout cloth for free it also too comes with free worldwide shipping and signature confirmed don't forget signature confirmed because if you were nervous about leaving a package out there maybe you might not be able to make it home from work on time and you're nervous about that just basically let us know in an email say hey look can i want signature confirmed we'll add it in there for free and that we don't have to worry about somebody snatching your package off your porch because you're not home all right that being said y'all have a good one have a blessed day and night depending on where you're at in the world i gotta go and god bless